Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Loop Hero. We're actually heading out on our second expedition. The first one went okay. We got a decent amount of resources considering the fact that we weren't able to survive the whole loop. We weren't getting the kind of drops that I was hoping for. And uh, earlier on, our guy is a little bit weaker. But we did manage to build a kitchen. So our healing now at our campfire is 10% uh, stronger. And we have the Blood Grove, which should ultimately result in better loot. This is the big one that I want to get now. Uh, the Gymnasium unlocks this ability to gain special traits. And we'll add literally a new mechanic. We'll have an XP bar that we can add. Uh, it also unlocks the Village card that heals you when you pass through it. Uh, we also have access to the Refuge, which unlocks the Rogue. So it depends on what kind of uh, resources we get. But I'll try to build whatever we can. Hopefully... We can get to the uh, the gymnasium. That would be great. Anyways, I've removed a couple uh, cards from the deck. The spider cocoon and the beacons. Uh, hopefully that works out for us. But let's begin, shall we? New loop. New life. Give me the good stuff. Little Billy. Yeah, I'll take that. Some defense. Uh, we can start our uh, mountain peak here if we want check out our resources now i'm feeling like we can start to get through bigger and better chunks of loops or runs per episode the first couple of runs are likely gonna have to be um split into two because there's just a lot that's going on but we'll see as we go okay so now we've got blood groves and groves let's go ahead this is gonna spawn every two days i'm gonna throw this right here and I'm going to put a Blood Grove next to that. The Blood Grove is has to be adjacent to these. And it's going to uh, turn some of the enemies in here into fiends. It's also going to root uh, enemies uh, that are less than 15% health and instantly kill them. If we're less than 15% health, then it kind of slows us down as well. Uh, I'm going to do one here also to try and benefit from the blood grove. And uh, yeah, we could throw some mountains down. I don't know if we'll make our peak out of mountains. Kind of depends on the cards that come. We'll see. Okay, let's throw this in. So now we're up to 9% evasion. It's not bad. All right, let's take... Uh, let's take the... Okay, now this is weird. Sometimes shields do this, and it can be a bit tricky. So this is a level. This is a level one shield that has four defense. That's it. If you look at this shield, it's got less defense, but because it's like an uncommon variant, it adds some defense. So this actually, in effect, if you look at our defense stats, this will add one, uh, even though the initial view might not look like that. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Just fill the slots. There's a nice upgrade at camp too, which gives you basic starting gear. So your first two, like your first loop is way more solid. Uh, so we'll keep this. Uh, meadows. I would like to start placing these. Um, let me start placing some of them, even though they're not activated quite yet. Okay, still don't have an actual weapon, unfortunately. Uh, I'll take the regen early on. I really like that. And then these shields can go. Uh, I'm going to do another blood grove here. Yeah, 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 yeah. May spawn something dreadful from their remains. Let's go, baby. That's what we want. We want, the, we want to fight those fiends. Okay, I'll start a little uh, rock mountain area over here for like maybe a peak if we can build it just out of rocks, but we'll see. If we're getting desperate for HP, I might just add it. There we go. Holy smokes. Never been happier. Hey, okay, first loop. Done. Now, there's some other things in here that I don't quite know for how they work yet. Uh, 
specifically some of these modifiers. So if you look at the rat wolf, it says he's living and has a soul. Um, each of the enemies, when you hover on them, they have these different attributes, and there's got to be things that play into that down the road. Also, we have this stuff up here showing the modifiers of this tile, carnivorous roots. So if this guy drops below 15% and he's not dead, then he will be dead. That's what this little icon is showing. Not going to get to show it there, I don't think, but you saw the little animation regardless. Okay, so we got our first cemetery where we can spawn a skeleton. I'm going to spawn this one... I don't think we're going to hit three days here, but let's do it relatively early in the run. Uh, by the time we get back to here, we'll probably have spawned one, but we'll also be coming off like this kind of scary area. I could... I could try to put another grove in here. I don't know if I'm setting myself up for failure, but... If it gets too intense, I can maybe drop a bunch of road lanterns along the side and try to manage it that way. It's quiet out here. Almost too quiet. Uh, mountain I'll try to keep together. A road lantern. Keep it coming. Okay, a little battlefield. Here we go. Let's drop this. Uh, I want it to be early. I don't love the idea of fighting ghosts in here. I can avoid it. So we'll spawn the chest in this area. It can be our little reward. Now, in the last episode, we, we learned that if you place two of these that hit the same tile... And it creates that blood road and it creates blood clots. Those blood clots did a lot of damage to us, which I did not love. All right. Another potential skelly scenario. Let's throw you down there. Damage to all early is okay, but I'm going to keep that regen going. Doesn't seem like a lot, but because our overall HP is so low has a much bigger impact early on. Drop rocks here. Uh, I If we start getting to the point where I'm going to run out of card space, I'll just start dropping meadows. We'll check to see if there's any fiends spawning here too. There's another blood grove. Okay, so no fiends quite yet. Um... I don't think these things like really stack, but this might increase the spawn rates for stacking. But the root benefit I don't think we're gonna get. But I mean this is where all of our this is where all of our groves are. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so we got our first goblin camp. If I can I'll oblivion it. But we don't have the card yet. Okay, mountains, let's go. Now, I am missing out on like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 HP per day by not placing these. And you can see, like, we're getting really crap loot. Like, we're on round three here. Finally, we got something decent. That's really only our regen. We're still hitting like little baby mosquito. Okay, let's make sure this is paused after this fight. That regen's very good, though. Here's an Oblivion I could drop on that uh, Goblin Camp. So let's do that. I'll throw my Mountain in here. Uh, do I want a Vampire on anything right now? Maybe, maybe not. I'm just going to keep these kind of spread out for activation purposes. But we'll take the benefits of the daily heal. This actually might have been too aggressive because now I can't put a treasury down there. It's going to be too close to stuff. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Give us a weapon. 
Look at the damage we do to him. This is like nothing. Might as well be using a paintbrush. Now notice, I want you to pay attention to a couple things here. Um, underneath the health bar, you see that that's like our attack speed, right? Every time it fills up, we can get an attack off. And underneath that is, I think, kind of like a stagger bar. And if that gets depleted by like a bunch of enemies whacking you, then it's uh, problematic. Here, you know what I'm going to do is, uh... oh, there, we got a fiend, which is very nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, let's hold on to it for a second. I'm gonna push it. We just need a weapon so badly. These blobs are very, very unlikely to drop anything useful. We almost have our mountain peak here. And I'm trying to just build straight out of rocks so that we get all the other regular mountain cards to have a higher benefit. Here we go. I want to fight a vampire here. Not right now. I don't. I could fight a vampire here with these blobs. But until I find, like, a weapon that does damage, I'm not going to be able to do much of anything. And this is the thing about the game that I love and hate, is that you, uh, every, every single run is different. This is a huge boost for us. Too bad the vampirism is not really accomplishing anything with our four to six damage. Tough life out there, you know? Tough life. Okay, so there's our peak at least and a weapon. Oh. So nice that you can switch these in battle too. It's very, very, very nice that they did that. One thing I did learn recently is that uh, there's not really a a full save system in the game. So, for example, uh, if I were to quit right now, then I would... Uh, if you quit the game right now and you come back, then you're just at your base. And you get to keep, like, 30% of the uh, of the ingredients. I think there's a way you can keep 60%. It might have to do with how much health you have or something. I can't remember the details, but... Yeah, if you're going to do a run, you kind of have to do the whole run and leave manually to be able to get all your gear. You can't save during a, an expedition, unfortunately. Uh, so what do we want to do here? Keep the regen? Or switch this and do damage and magic damage? That's a tough one, actually. Let's see what else we get. Uh, we can finish up our mountain peak. So that part is done. And then we can build mountains here. Uh, I'm trying to keep the meadows for, like, the treasuries, but I might not have that option. I might have to start placing these and activating them. I could activate them on things inside, too, which might not be a bad little boost for us, but... Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves! Now give us all you've got! You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want? Goblin must rob! No other order in the world! Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait. I do have one. How about... I kill you. Sloppy. So here, goblins, they attack very quick, and they hit pretty hard. Uh, if they're with another enemy, and the enemy dies, they get rage, so they deal way more damage. And this is why I hate goblins. Oh, hey, nice. Strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything's actually not so bad and that the world's trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Very possible. So, pretty nice boost there in terms of HP. Uh, the vampirism isn't doing a great job right now because uh, we're not hitting very hard. So I think I'm going to take... Well, man. Maybe not. Nah, I think I might leave it. Okay, so here we're going to run into a bunch of little rat wolves and then our first fiend. You'll see what that looks like. We're basically 1v1. We're regening enough 
to uh, keep full health. Pretty solid. This is a big HP boost. Oh, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. Uh, let's see. Again, we can always switch this as we go. These lower level things are going to start to fall off now. But because of that regen and the vampirism, these 1v1s are nice. Attack speed or regen. So we basically trade all of our regen for 20% attack speed, which would be good if we focus more on vampirism. Uh, which is kind of good, I guess. But that would only be better if we had... It would be better if we had a, a stronger weapon. So I actually think we're going to ignore that for now. Okay, 17 defense. Give up a little regen. This is almost doubling the defense there, so I think we have to take that. Puts our vampirism down to 7%, but, like, who cares, I guess? Which I guess I can make the same argument here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna switch it. Make us much more tanky. <laughs> Okay, so we did get a vampire mansion here. You think about where we want to place this. I'm really surprised we haven't seen many of the other cards yet. It's unfortunate. Uh, we can do mountains here. I'll keep the rocks. If I need to just activate these, I will, but it's going to be sad times. And then, where do I want to vampire stuff? If I vampire in here, these fights could get a little unwieldy. Let's see where this thing's landing. Ah, here's our... I call them fiends. They're flesh golems. Thought they were called fiends. Either way. They hit pretty hard. It's unfortunate that we're attacking this thing first. Magic down. I'll keep the regen. Better drop something nice, buddy. Look at that. Okay, so level four gear still, but rare. So, uh, magic damage, damage to all, evasion. Let's take it. And slightly lower defense, but you get all the other stuff. I think we'll switch that to dropping levels in there, but still on point with where we're at. Um... Well, I'm going to start just activating some of these meadows, unfortunately. With rocks. Not the ideal scenario, but... Deal with what we get. Okay, more road lanterns. Holy smokes. That is a lot of road lanterns. I'll put this one here. Put this one here. Do one on this side. And I guess I could take one here. Activated by that. Vampire Mansion. I'll put it here. So vampires will spawn on this tile, but I just want to kind of control that. I don't want to get like too unwieldy. And if it does, we can simmer it down with some lanterns. Oh, it's a mimic. Oh, that's an oof. Bad luck, man. All the way around this loop. Thankfully, some pretty good gear. So there's a nice chunk of evasion we're going to take. Magic damage and regen per second. Yes, please. Two skellies here. So we're coming in at about 650 health. Curious to see where we end up. Not bad. Fifteen plus five, so twenty defense, at the cost of regen. Nah. And we're not gonna ditch that one. That's for sure. Uh, 
Uh, what do you do? Do we want to trade this regen now? It's up to 4.2. It's very powerful. Uh, do we want to offset that? I still have, like, no weapon. Give me a sword. Give me a mace. Give me anything. It's like we're... This is... This is sad. This is... This, this is... This, this is sad. But we will, like... Once we do get a weapon... It'll feel good. It'll feel big. Hmm. No, I'm going to keep that regen for now. Ah, finally. Broken. It is broken, but I'll take it. Plus more regen, actually. Holy smokes. I've never, I've never done, like, a full-on focused regen run, but dang. This could be it. I'm going to place another one here. This area is salty. This is a sweaty... This is a sweaty grove, is what we call that. Sweaty groves. Okay, I'm going to start activating some of these, because, like, that's life. Um, we do spawn goblins now, right on the cemetery, which is really horrible. So I'm going to try to, like, mitigate some of what can spawn there. Uh, I'm going to activate these. And then let's activate there. And there. And just start spelling stuff. Now, if I get that treasury, I, I don't even think I have a space for it where I can surround it fully, but maybe I do. Uh, nope. Good harpy kill, though. I find the music, like, it's so calming. Spawn to skeleton. Yeah, there we go. Come on, baby. I got Skelly here, Skelly here. Uh, let's go Skelly here. And we are regening this, man. Like that that regen per second is is holding up pretty strong. Want to throw any more vampires in to the mix? More fun times. I could do a vampire thing down here on these slimes. It might only we might only benefit it from from it one time, but that's life. So now again, we could leave because we're on this tile, but uh, we're not. We're in a really decent spot right now. Let's keep pushing it for a bit here, at least. Okay, I could oblivion that goblin camp. Um. So in situations like this, I think, I'm not sure, but I think if you kill off, like, the Grove or the Blood Grove, one of the two stays or still has an impact. I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm also not 100% certain if this ended up doing anything for these three tiles, because we still haven't spawned a uh, an enemy there, or the uh, Rot Fiend thing. So, what do I want to do? Well, we're going to start spawning skeletons over here with this vampire. And you get rid of the goblin hut. Five point four regen per second. Yowzers. Magic damage at the cost of some of our regen. That might be worth it. Magic damage is quite nice. So let's observe here. So right now when we're hitting, we're hitting these rot, these rot dogs for like 31, 32. Ooh, attack speed versus this. Well, uh, if we had like a higher, oh wait, we got a sword. Oh yeah, we got a, I'm, I got to take the damage here. And now I think if I take the attack speed, we sacrifice some of that regen again. Ugh. Or do we take the magic damage? Let's see what we're hitting for. So we're hitting for... We hit for 46 there. 39. Now this is, of course, messy because we add damage every second of battle. We seem to not be having a huge damage problem. So... Let's do this. So the question is, do we want to take the attack speed or more magic damage? Don't know what, like, math would be better there. I think we should replace this level four. It's going to replace some of the regen. Let's see how that treats us. 
We'll feel it out. We do have another uh, big beast coming up here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Slightly worse. Uh, we could spawn another grove here. If we want. Yeah. I do want. Okay, so here's another flesh golem. We're hitting so much harder, though. So nice. Okay, so we might have a better shield here. We do. So we're replacing regen. That means all the regen's going to be gone. But, I mean, that's the path that it's taking us. So I kind of got to ride it. And then we take the attack speed or we go with some vampirism. We don't have much. So I think I actually might just keep this one. Higher level, even though this one's rare, but... The problem is, is now we're only relying on our day to save us. And we don't have any form of regen. And I kind of feel like if we can now, we should start to try and build that back up. But these are both lower level and eventually we're going to hit level 6 here soon anyways. So I don't want to decrease in level if I can avoid it. Nope. Ooh, that's vampiric. Versus evasion at 23%. Am I in a position to fight the boss here? I mean, if I can keep my health full, then maybe. Uh, our evasion's at 23%. Damage to all. Attack speed and counter. I'll leave. Keep battling. Another thing we can try and do is... Um, drop, man, we're dropping level 4 gear here. It's rough is uh, once the day is coming to an end, we can be like, okay, do I need to place any meadows? And we heal for an extra, well, nine in this scenario because we could activate all of these along these sections. So it doesn't seem a lo like a lot, but it's every day. And see, the days are passing in these fights too. I'll pause this and see if we can... Uh, we're going to go into the next day. I'm trying to time that might be... Less ideal. Oh, a treasury. Wow. Okay, so I could do a treasury here. And we'd have enough to be able to circle it. Like so. And then we could fill in with rocks or uh, more meadows if we wanted. And then activate those with rocks. Meadows here would be activated. So it's not bad. I'm going to throw down a little grove over here. We drop anything useful there? I don't think so. I want to kind of save this one just in case. We'll see how things go. Give me a cool weapon, please. Please, game. Oh, thank you. Is that all I need to do is like ask? Okay, so it's a small damage drop, but it does stack our evasion even higher. Oh, huh. I wonder. Let's remove some of the attack speed, but we can get some of that regen back. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this. We're on round five. I feel like if we're going to fight the boss, we would fight him at the end of the next round. But it really depends on how our health is looking. <laughs> Defense on these guys is just... Wow. Nope. Not going to take that one. Sorry. 30% evasion, man. That's no joke. That's no joke. Let's see how this goes. We just healed. Pretty big chunk of damage. This is pretty significant, but we lose some evasion. But I mean, look at the defense difference. Level 8 shield. I think we gotta take it. We're still at a roughly 1 out of 4 attacks being missed. Ah, I messed up the pause. 
this is where I have to make a call. Because when we add armor, our base HP does increase. Not like uh, the rocks. Taking a little bit of a beating here, but not too bad. Okay, so we lost some road lanterns at the end here. Uh, let's meadow this. Could do another treasury, I suppose, but... I'm not going to place this unless I know I can fill it. And, you know, I technically could. Uh, where are we? So we're still at the... We're at the very beginning of our run. Um, the question that I'm asking myself is... By the time I get here, I think I would have enough cards to spawn the boss. Based on playing all of these and playing any cards that we get. But then... The question becomes, uh, can we be, can we defeat the boss? And it really depends on what kind of gear we get here. Yeah. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to take a pause. When we come back, I'll pick up from here and we'll let the we'll let the cards de or the the weapons decide, really. Um I might want to play this Blood Grove. But this thing I think is covering everything and I'm not seeing an additional benefit from this one. So I do have a grove over here that I could play play this on. And I'll probably do that. But yeah, I'll wrap it up here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Wish me luck. Bye for now.